trust the Avengers in our midst, but I have some reservations. Hunter, have you seen the news lately? Because if I could just have one power right now, it would be to unsee it. I'm concerned about the integrity of several of our Abbey guests. Particularly whether they're susceptible to my sister's dark whims. Tony Stark's father had a secret trove of gamma research that Bruce Banner stole from under our noses. That stings me, and I'm not even an Avenger. How are you, Peter? Better than the world out there. I've been watching this for hours, hoping to get a glimpse of the neighborhood, see how it's holding up through all this. But, yes, Queens is not important enough for the news media to cover. An absence of news is not necessarily a bad thing. Is that supposed to make me feel better? So, take heart that nothing is being reported regarding your neighborhood. It probably means everything is okay there. Thanks, Hunter. That makes me feel mildly better. I just hope Aunt May is safe. I've been trying to reach her on her cell all day today, and the signal keeps dropping. I'm guessing that big hole in the New York atmosphere is interfering with her cellular network. Sometimes I feel like I should be there with her. To protect her. To protect the neighborhood. But I know you need me here. Be assured, we will not allow any harm to come to her. You really mean that? I do. That... like... means so much to me to hear you say. Looks like I just got a message. From your Aunt May? No, MJ. She said Aunt May is staying with her. What a relief. You should call them. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. Thanks for checking in on me, Hunter. If Lilith mindjacks me, she's gonna be surprised how much of it is taken up by movie trivia and web fluid formulas. Robbie and I are gonna play Valor's Edge until duty calls. Duties not coming, is it? Look, Deadpool won't hit a lady unless the lady hits first. I'm a gentleman. I don't think I could picture Steve Rogers saying Hail Hydra, but I'm not sure about Wolverine yet.
Looking for company, Logan. Funny, you strike me as a loner. Who, me? I like people. Problem is, people usually don't like me back. Well, we need your skills, so consider yourself liked here. And my apologies about the circumstances. When you get to be my age, you end up carrying so much baggage people would rather leave you in the dust. So, uh, thanks for not leaving this old man behind. No need to thank me, Logan. With your expertise, I should be thanking you for helping us. You might want to save your thank yous until you work with me a bit more. There's a reason I've been freelance the last few years. Well, you are welcome to stay here as long as you want. I gotta admit, Sarah's got a pretty swanky setup. Puts Xavier's bad to shame. Some people think it is a little... spooky. A spooky place for spooky people. <laughs> Seems like home. Successful collaboration. Are there any curses I should be aware of? You may have stumbled onto something important here. Tony is working. Hey, Hunter. Always up for a challenge. Sometimes, I even impress myself. If this thing behind me turns into a giant gateway to ancient Egypt, I'm quitting. Find more coil, send it my way.
The books in this place are something else. Did you know that there is an entire section about spiders in the occult? Peter, I am sorry you have to find out this way, but I guess it is time we talked. You're not afraid of spiders, are you? Terribly. But you're Hunter. THE Hunter! You're not afraid of anything. I am a complicated being. Huh. Is the legs? The crawling? The knowledge that the entire spider population can eat all of humanity in a year given the chance? Or is it because there is one just six inches away from you right now? What? Where? Just kidding. It's me. Actually, all this reading got me thinking, and there is something I wanted to run by you. With my spider roots, and the spiders being so occult adjacent, apparently, who knew, I can maybe be a good fit for the Midnight Suns. I'm not asking you to pull any strings for me or anything like that, I just want your honest opinion as a friend. Do you think I'd make a good candidate? For now, you should focus on being the best you can be in every situation. And when this is all over, we can talk about your future. Of course, of course. Either way, I would like a chance to prove myself first. Don't want anyone to say that you're giving me any special treatment. Well, I am sure you can figure out how to make that happen. One last question. Yes? If I read these books here, I'm not summoning any demons or evil spirits, right? Have you been reading them aloud? No? <sighs> Do not open your door to any knock that sounds unnatural or inhuman, and you should be fine. No inhuman knocks. Got it. It's a simple question. I mean... Maybe? Maybe how? Maybe you did see a stolen piece of one-of-a-kind Gamma Tech at the mysterious creepy lab? It is possible. We were busy. Yeah, trying to save our friend. The one you all abandoned. Uh, no. The one we are all trying to save. Along with the rest of the planet. Banner's Accelerator. Now this from the person who saw their first light bulb a few weeks ago. And we're done here. What if I were to tell you that theoretically, we could use the accelerator to destroy the parchment of power? I would say, theoretically, that without the parchment of power, the prophecy could not come to pass. But that is impossible. Agreed. This from the wizard with the talking cape, the resurrected demon hunter, the blood witch, and the queen of limbo? <laughs> I'm the most boring person here. There might be a way to return to that facility. You never told me that. My sword retains a memory of every portal I open, but... It is better if I show you. Something pushes back. 
Like I've hit a wall. A wall? More like pure evil. A demonic energy barrier. Unlike any I felt before. Bruce. No matter what we do, he's always one step ahead of us. And to think, he used to be the boring one. There has to be a way through, and we have to find it. Try explaining that to Auntie Caretaker. She just read me the riot act about putting you in danger. You worry about the barrier. I will handle Sarah. Thanks, Hunter. Awesome. Thanks, Hunter. Hey there. No need to post. See you soon. Let's do this. I guess it is a tough decision. Constant innovation. That's the stark promise. You appear to have something on your mind, Hunter. You obviously have something to say, so please say it. And make it quick, we don't have a lot of time. 
We need to go back to the Hydra lab Banner was using. We need... I don't need to hear any more. The answer is no. Caretaker, please. It is possible we could use the Stark Gamma Accelerator there to destroy the Parchment of Power. Oh, in that case, let me make my displeasure clearer. There is no way in hell I'm letting any of you go back to that lab, especially you. My job is to keep you alive, and that's what I intend to do. This is the last I want to hear of such an ill-advised plan. When I said you needed to work better as a team last night, I didn't mean you needed to work better to come up with absurd ideas. Listen, I am sorry if I upset you. It was not my intention. <sighs> it's all right. It's a trying time for us. If I let anything happen to you, all of this would be worthless. I understand. You are trying to keep me safe. I'm trying to keep you alive. Safe and alive are two very different things. And it'll be much easier the minute you stop trying to throw yourself into danger. If you're feeling productive, maybe gather the team and use their collective resolve to stop the days from marching forward. It seems time is one of our enemies as well now. You're looking stronger than ever, kiddo. fought hundreds of these battles. What is one more? You seem to be fixated on me. The advantage is mine. Welcome assistance. Time has come. You were too weak for this fight. Your face is Your mother abandoned. Feel my call. The power of the light. You have earned this. Once again, Lilith's servants fall.
just like old times. You had your chance to escape. Return to your mother. yet. This shall be of great help. Next time, run while you still can. Father running. I am afraid you might not make it back from this one. You had your chance to escape. shall be of great help.
enemy down. Sheer numbers will not save you now. Let us see if they have an answer for this. No mercy for the servants of the living. Was that truly your best? Welcome assistance. Mother of demons will be your undoing. Your time is gone. Maybe you do not realize the trouble you are in, friend. Myself every day. Let us see if they have an answer for this. So what did Caretaker say to Stark's big plan? Well, out with it. What did Caretaker say when you proposed breaking back into Big Bad Banner's lab to retrieve Stark's Gamma... Gamma... Gamma Accelerator. <laughs> yes, that. I cannot imagine it went well. <laughs> Not well at all. She will change her mind. <laughs> no, she won't. We're going to have to go sneaking around behind her back again if we want to get anything done. And we shouldn't have to do that. She should trust us. We should be trusted. Uh, no offense, Ileana. But it is not exactly like we have given Caretaker many reasons to trust us. Offense taken. 
You can sit there on your high horse and pretend you are innocent of any deception. But we both know that is not true. Perhaps you are the one who should be begging for caretaker's trust. That's why it's imperative for you to convince caretaker that going back to Banner's lab is in the best interest of the entire team. You think we will encounter Wanda there? I know we will. Now hurry along and figure out a way to make it happen. We are counting on you. No pain, no gain. Feeling good today, girl? Must be a way through that barrier, I know it. A force field like that, powered by demonic energy, would be impassable for nearly everyone. Nearly? Well, the magic that created that force field was the darkest kind. Not unlike the dark energies within you. It is good to know that you have finally found an advantage to having an inner darkness. Oh, there are many advantages, I'm sure. This is just the one that became most apparent to me. So what do you suggest? I go up and try to walk through the barrier? Not yet. You will need protection. Some sort of armor? I don't want to say too much until I've consulted the library. We will talk soon. That barrier is not as insurmountable as it seems. Everything seemed kind of hopeless until I started poking through Dad's old files, and then bingo. The old man delivered. The man you hated. Gives us our biggest ace in the hole. I know, the irony is not lost on me. I guess the only way to know if this will work is to try it. That's the spirit. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, I always say. The original intention of the Gamma Accelerator was to supercharge Gamma Radiation. It could make a Hulk smash into a Hulk obliterate. I see where this is going. And who says Hulk gets all the fun? It would take just a few modifications to make it into a very potent weapon. To be honest, I think that's kind of true of everything my dad created. So the lab... ...is on our to-do list, but right now we have something more pressing. We need to get our hands on the Parchment of Power. And to do that... We need Johnny Blaze to play ball. This is a good plan. I know it. Yo, it's good to see you.
Hydra forces in this area are causing trouble. Let's take them down. Nothing new. You ain't good enough for me. Impressive. Funny looks on me, Skullboy. Show me your sins. These Cretans can't hope to stop you. Time. Tear them to shreds. Interesting tactic. Much 
Let me show you the way. A gift from the ancient tradition. I'm skeptical of your chances, but stranger things. The more you take down here, the less we have to deal with later. Excellent work.
god, Robbie. Why are you so pumped about meeting Blades? Word on the street is the dude's a major ape. Oh, come on. He's the original spirit of vengeance and, like, my personal hero. Almost as lame as Hank Pym being your hero. Uh, who's that? An annoying, outdated boomer. Just like your boy Blaze. Blaze is not a boomer. Whatever, Robbie. Fanboy all you want. Go get yourself an autograph for all I care. Just don't tell me I didn't warn you. If you're bored, we can have a sword measuring contest. What's up, Ancient One? What's up, Hunter? I never expected I'd be here. Before I met you, I didn't even know this place existed. That one's career. <laughs> Sorry to bust up your equipment. Training at night always gets me in the zone. I'm the same. Night Stalker, all the way. Gives me a chance to let go. Be myself without worrying what others might think. Bub, I don't even know what myself is anymore. Butchers at Weapon X threw my mind into a blender. Wanted to erase the man to unleash the pure beast. They got what they wanted, and then some. Charles has been trying to help me put the pieces back ever since. <laughs> I'm not even sure I want to remember it all. A vampire fed on my mother during my birth. For whatever reason, her face at that moment was burned into my mind. It was the same one I saw years later when I had to put her down. We better order a lot more training dummies. This night is darker than most. Why? Is there a danger I am not seeing? You're looking right at it. Lilith's darkness is testing me, Hunter. Her power is growing and mine along with it. I won't lie. I like feeling this strong. I like it a little too much. Surely you felt it too. No. I am afraid I do not know what you mean. Oh, come on, Hunter. We've talked about this before. I know you struggle with your own inner demons, just like me. I'm doing my best to keep the blood-sucking beast in me at bay, but it's getting harder and harder each night. And I'll be honest, it pisses me off. You know how much I like to be in control. Should I be hanging garlic over my bed? Keeping a steak on my nightstand? I'd laugh, but smiling is not my style. Well, neither is staking a friend, so just take care of yourself, okay? I'm working on it. You know, sometimes I've found all you need is a good night's sleep. It does wonders for my outlook. Good nights, bad nights. I really don't sleep. It's not my thing. I'll be awake for a long time tonight. If you're not busy, we could sit a while. It would be nice to catch up. I could use the company. And what would you like to talk about? Whatever you want. Are you curious about the Fallen? Do you think we can bring them back? I wonder. They look terrible on the outside. I can't imagine they look any better on the inside. But I don't want to think those things about Wanda. So I really don't think about it at all. Lilith's evil goes deep. It corrupts to the core. Like I said, I'd rather think about other things. Do you think the Suns will ever pull it together as a team? A team's only as good as its leader. Maybe that leader is you, maybe it isn't. Seeing you and Logan bonding through training makes my heart glad. Logan's a good sparring partner. He doesn't hold back. Wouldn't mind having some of his carefree attitude, but not enough to lose my edge. 
There is a lot more to Logan than it appears at first. I know he's got his dark side. He's just better at showing it off. While we are talking about Lilith, is there anything she might be able to use against you? You mean leverage? Lilith looks for weaknesses as a way to get into your mind. I need to know about yours. I knew a woman once, Gloriana. We traveled the world together slaughtering vampires and making love. Good times. We were in London and got word of a master vampire on the loose. My big ego told me I could kill him as easy as the others. I was wrong. I nearly got myself killed. And because of that mistake, I left him an opening to turn glory into one of his kind. The woman I loved became the thing I hate. I'll spare you the rest of the details. It is okay. I understand the emotions. Love turning to hate resonates with me well. This seems like a good time to train with Carol. Why not? Logan's here. No, I mean if you have feelings for her, you should... I said Logan's here. Ah, uh, right. I understand. The night is only getting darker, and I am getting tired. Then sleep? You are not going to hit the coffin too. It is going to be an early morning. I don't know what it is with you and coffins. If you're not busy, we could sit a while. It would be nice to catch up. I could use the company. And what would you like to talk about? What? The night. You are. I ain't much of a conversationalist, more of a fighter. It's always surprising when you receive help from unexpected places. Tony could blot out the sky with the number of satellites he could launch to hunt for Blaze, and I don't think it would do any good. Meanwhile, the greatest help we could have asked for came from this mysterious demon locked away in these flames for all eternity. Demons are, by definition, evil, yet this one seems to want to help. And I'm inclined to trust it. A demon reaching out to help us achieve our goals is just another sign that the old battle lines no longer exist. Good and evil mean nothing in the face of Cthon. Sadly, I think you're correct. So, Robbie... He is very definitely the key to finding Blaze. How do we make that happen? I think Stark and I have our work cut out for us. Tony and I need to put our heads together. We should have something soon. There are only so many places a guy with a flaming skull on a motorcycle could be. I've got multiple satellites in orbit right now that can locate him. Blaze isn't some regular guy. If he doesn't want to be found, I suspect he won't be found. Okay, Dr. Positivity, if you have better ideas, why don't you conjure them up? It's nice of Hydra to provide all these free sparring partners for you. If they were smart, they'd start charging for these sessions. So, you've been dead? Yes. What's on the other side? Of death? Yes. Blazing trumpets, fiery pits, Thor's backyard. Where did you end up? The barking was endless. Wagging tails stretched to the horizon. But after my death, I learned that all dogs really do go to. I'm going to stop you right there, boss. See if Corgius was not on my afterlife bingo card. Uh, I have a betting pool going on which religion was, you know, right. I was really hoping you could give me an edge. I guess you will have to figure it out for yourself.
Well, let's hope that's in many, many years. Did Happy suggest this, or was it Pepper? Neither? Huh. I thought you'd be stuck in the past, but that was fun. Let's do it again. Yeah, after we stop Cathon from devouring Earth. I never catch anything but tiny sunfish. Hydrus was among the first of the Elder Gods born at the dawn of our world. And unfortunately for him, he was also the first among them to die. How does an Elder God die? He was consumed by another Elder God. your strength. By consuming Hypus, 
Sunset absorbed his brother's power, but also triggered the downfall of the Elder Gods as they turned on one and became demons. Your mother abandoned. Once again will its servants fall. I mentioned during the last trial, with most of the Elder Gods corrupted, a tomb was born and sent to destroy them. When he was born, he released their energy to the stars. And now they watch in silence from above while I fight for their amusement. Who am I to speculate on their intentions? I'd say to your benefit. assistance. After this, you should be for whatever Lilith has planned in the coming days. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. for the rest of us.
I'm sure Hippis will be pleased. You've proven yourself more than capable. There's only so much Hippus can do. All will be restored. Blessings of Hippus. He is in agreement. <laughs> 